This is a 15 minute boxer's core routine. We go through amazing boxing specific core exercises to allow you to punch harder with more consistency to allow you to duck easier to rotate your punches better. Let's get to work. Exercise number one is a double standing crunch for two reps and then left elbow to right knee for two reps. Let's work. Flex your abs deep as you bring the knee up to the elbow. Two on the right side, two on the left. Keep your balance as you lift your leg. Rotate the torso over towards the lifting hip. In three, Two, one, exercise number two, rotational punches in a square stance. Big reach over core allows you to rotate, overextend the punches. Let's go. Left, reset, right, cross it over, full rotation. Make sure your feet are spreading the floor. You want really strong hips to flex the obliques, those side core muscles as you rotate over across the body. Flex and extend, 15 seconds. Breathe as you get your obliques to fire up as you reach across. Three, two, one, next exercise. You're gonna do rotational uppercuts. I want you to really pull the shoulders back as you throw the uppercuts. Ready, go. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. Turn the shoulders, turn the shoulders. Flex the obliques on an upward rotational angle as you throw your uppercuts. Get up, get up. That's a flex, breathe, flex, breathe. Breathe and flex, breathe and flex. When your shoulders get tired, it's important for you to be able to recruit your core to allow you to continue to work. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Next exercise, you're gonna throw a hook to the body, a hook to the head. A wide hook to the body, a wide hook to the head. In a square stance. Right here, let's go. Hook body, hook head. Hook body, square stance, hook head. That's it. You wanna spread the floor apart, away from your midline with your feet. Halfway, hook to the body, hook to the head. Body, head, body. Head, 10 seconds. Hook to the body, hook to the head. Keep that stance strong and square. And time, excellent work. Down to the floor. We're gonna do seated leg raises. Both legs come up, keep your torso at 45 degrees. Hands support you in the back. Ready? Let's go. Flex your abs to lift both your legs towards your chest. Think about your quads are coming up past your belly button. Keep your ankles glued together. Strong torso. A big flex on the way up. Three, two, one. Great work, stay on the floor. Next exercise. The arm that's going back behind you, the knee is following. So your legs are following your arms. Let's go, the arm that's coming
Breathe, breathe, breathe. Core is tight. You should feel it lighting up your entire core and some of your quads. When the right arm comes forward, the right leg is moving forward. When the left arm go goes back, the left knee is coming back. Two, one time, great work. Next exercise is a seated crunch. So come up to your bum, hands behind your head, and just crunch your torso towards your straight legs. Ready? Push your neck forward, crunch. Let's go. 40 seconds. Secure your bum and heels to the floor, straight legs, as straight as you can get them, and crunch your torso forward. Flex those abs. Don't forget, this is a core workout. Think about getting that nice separation or that nice line going down rectus abdominis. Squeeze them all together. Three, two, one. Great set. Long scissor kicks. Make sure you subscribe to the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. You're gonna go straight legs, nice and slow. One goes down while the other one stays up at 90 degrees. Drop one, the toes are pointed out. Let's go. Now these should burn, so I want you to flex your abs and your quads. Keep your body secure to the mat, so don't let your head move. Keep the opposite leg 90 degrees. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Great set, you guys. Let's go. Bring it up to the floor. We're gonna do Mike Tyson slips. Now I want you to think of moving your torso with straight hips. Again, we're working core, so you want to secure your lower body and just do that pendulum slip side to side. Mike Tyson slips. Ready? Go. Make a rainbow with your head. Again, pushing the floor away from your midline. Flex your obliques, your side of your torso, and make those rainbow slips. Let's get it. Come on, keep flexing, keep flexing. Every time you drop down, flex those obliques. 10 seconds, you got it. Good work, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work, great work. Rotational punches again. Recruit your obliques with that strong athletic stance. Ready, go. Left side, right side. Take your time and fully extend across. Work with your core as you come across, not your back, use your abs. Your obliques, you should feel your chest as your arm comes across, flex your chest as well. Ten seconds. Drive your feet through the floor. Two, one, great job, coming up. You're gonna duck under, hook, duck under, hook, big hook. And again, flex your abs to come up, ready? Go, strong core, hook, strong core, long hook, great job. Use your legs, power it through it. You're punching through a wall every time, come across your body. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Great job, you guys. Now, again, cross body uppercuts. You want to think of moving your body up and on an angle with each uppercut go uppercut uppercut angle angle abs obliques that's right breathe breathe you got it 
Think of using your core to help with tired shoulders. That's important as you fight. Your core will assist you when your upper body starts to fail through your arms and shoulders. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Let's go, let's go. Two, one, excellent. Again, down to the floor. We'll do your last set of seated leg raises. Again, core and legs could be tired. Fight through that. Let's go, you're fighters. We're doing boxers, core, you got this. Go. Ankles are locked together. Legs are straight. Bringing your quads to your belly button. Flexing as hard as you can through your abs to bring those legs up. You got it. Every time those legs come up, flex even harder at the top. The closer they are to your body, the harder you flex your abs. Three, two, Oh man, burn so good. One, excellent. Dead bug. Left arm, right arm, switch hand positions as you switch leg positions. So it goes overhead to hip, overhead to hip, alternating sides. Let's go. The further your leg goes out, the more I want you to flex your core. Don't let your head move. Core is controlling your limbs on both ends, the legs and your arms. Come on. Come on, warriors. You got this. This is going to advance your core strength. It's going to allow you to throw punches with more power and speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Long scissor kicks. Last set of these. One leg at 90 degrees if you can and drop the other one down nice and slow. Cement your shoulders and hands to the floor along with your lower back and spine. Let's go. Leg drops nice and easy, core tight, bring it back. Pause, switch legs. Hold, hold, reset, switch legs. There you go. The ultimate control, 20 seconds. Fatigue is what you want and then learn to flex to continue to work just like you would in an actual boxing match. You get tired, but you still need technique to get you to the win. Two, one, excellent work. Next round, we're gonna do four slips and that square stance again for more core recruitment. Then go into your boxing stance and throw a one, two, three, four all to the head. So it's a jab, cross, hook, hook. Are you ready? One, two, three, four slips. Boxing stance. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Back to a square stance. One, two, three, four. Throw your combinations. Boxing stance. One, two, three, four. Let's continue to work. You got it. Again, fully extend your punches so you're recruiting more core to work. You should feel your abs working when you're punching. And that's it. Nice and secure it to the ground. Three, two, one. Very good. Let's go. Next one, we're going to do a body saw plank to finish. In a plank position from your elbows, slowly pull your body forward and back. Use your toes to help push you forward and support you pulling back. Let's go. Keep your chest as high as you can from the floor. You got this. One set to go. You got it, guys. Come on. It burns, but it's so good. Full body tension. Serratus, rectus abdominis, lats, triceps. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job today. 
Subscribe to the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Follow me here on this channel under memberships for elevated videos and premium workouts. And of course at NateBauerElevated.com where we get the best of both worlds. Go work.